Network Noel, how are you? Um, Welcome to Spin Towers. Well, um, thank you very much. Um, um, it's nice to be on the radio. Yeah, this yes. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, you're a bit of a legend because we've had so many stars coming into Spin Towers, but there has never been a frenzy like there has been this morning when everyone heard that Network Noel was coming into us today. Well, I'm delighted to be here. Look at the buttons. This is mad. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> or um, a capsule in a, um, a rocket. They do always say um, when you meet celebrities that they tend to be uh, shorter than you were expecting. You are a little bit shorter than I was expecting. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get personal <laughs> with you. There's plenty of things uh, one could say about um, about your good selves, but um, I'm here to talk about the buses, really. So let's, let's start about the buses then, Network. Now, what first got you into buses? Well, it's a good question. I d- I don't know to tell you the truth. I do remember that um, one thing that happened to me. Um, I was a kid, and it was m- my first day getting the bus home from school on my own. And what happened was, uh, didn't I take the wrong bus? The old eyesight was never great, and I took the wrong bus, and I ended up in Mead of all places. Oh God. Now, with respect to the people of of Mead, I'm sure they're fine people, but. You don't want to be in Mead. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dub, you know. Uh, I have a, I, I have an affinity with, with things urban and um, not things rural. Anyway, next thing I knew, I was being in, chased around the field by this four-legged, wobbly monster. And I, I, thought, I thought that at the time, anyway. It turned out to be a cow. It was never great with the countryside. Anyway, eventually this driver, a uh, lovely fella, fair play to him, he saw me legging it around the field like a mad joke. And he brought me back into town on the bus. And I never found out his name, but he left me with a timetable and a route map for the 83, <laughs> which was the bus I should have taken. And the minute I got home, I can tell you, I learned that timetable and route map off by heart. But um, um, I don't know if that story has anything to do with anything really and I don't remember your question but um, I think you answered it for us you answered it I'm Tracy and this is Ryan Tracy that's for you yeah, like, yeah. Trace, like Tracy paper yeah like Tracy and paper Ryan. exactly <laughs> network now yeah. Ryan, like, so listen the 83 that was the one you should have got so you yeah. learned the timetable so do you have a favourite bus route now because if we hear you on the ads you're all talking about all the different routes around Dublin ah uh, you can't you can't have a, uh, it'd be like picking a favourite child you know mind you I do have a soft spot for the 15 from Ballycullen to Clon Griffin. Now it spans nearly the whole town. Also close to me heart is the 4 from Harristown to Monkstown. Another cross city miracle. You know, <laughs> it stops at the pool there in, in uh, the Bluebell Pool in Monkstown. Oh, it's beautiful. You can um, go for a little swim and then hop straight back on the bus and go all the way back to Harristown again. Or you can, as I often do, I just get off the bus and I stand and I look at it, the <laughs> majesty of a dormant bus, the beauty of this parked, glorious machine. And I watch as the driver does the crossword or whatever he does. And then I hop straight back on and I'm on it for another good hour and a half. It's beautiful. Listen, uh, we love your hair. Uh, thank you very much. Can I touch it? Well, it's a bit like you, Jedward. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it stays very well in place. Very well, good. I was I was born like that. What can I say? I, I I wouldn't be overly concerned with my appearance, to be honest with you. You know, as long as I don't look too slapdash, I'm happy. <laughs> Hair wise, I, I usually just get a dry cut once a month, and then I just just wash and go, <laughs> whether it be on the eighty three or the seventy seven A or whatever. I'm lucky enough to have a good head of hair because Nula looks after me roots. No pun intended, but you get it. <laughs> Speaking of Nula, how did you and Network Nula meet? Like, was it on a bus? Uh, no, it was at our Debs, actually, yeah. yeah. But we, we were going to it with each other. I was going with this other girl, um, and she was going with this big nerdy bloke called Kierden. But um, as soon as we got in the door at the venue, our eyes met across the dance floor, and, well, there was just some kind of connection. I don't know what it was. Anyway, they had, um, do you remember, they had slow sets back then. And eventually, I got up the courage to ask Nula to dance. I'll always remember the song, I got you, babe, but you be 40. I'll never forget that, because the 40, that goes from Fingless to Liffey Valley. And um, it was number one at the time, the number one, which goes from Sandy Mount to Santry. And also, because of Nula, who was pretty special too. <laughs> What was the question again? 
Oh, no, you answered it. Yeah, about you and uh, Network New Lit. Very good, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, myself and Tracy were having a, a discussion before you came in. I have a feeling, I don't know why, but I have a feeling you're a Man United supporter. Who do you support? Well, I, I, um, Man United are um, an English uh, football team, I believe. Yes, no, that wouldn't be my style. Uh, oh, no, no. I support St. Pat's. St. Pat's. Pat's. yeah. Would have been Arsenal in the old days now when they had Liam Brady and Frank Stapleton and okay. David O'Leary and those guys. But uh, now it's all uh, French fr- French and German fellows over there. So no, St. Pat's. I, I used to play um, at school a bit, but um, I kept getting kicked <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why. Here, Network Doll, what, do what, what is your feeling like about trains? How do you feel about trains? About... Sorry, yeah. should I not have said that? No. No. Well, you know, um, it's it's your program, but um, we might um, we might move on. Uh, Network Noel, um, like, how long would you be waiting at a bus stop? What do you do when you're just standing there waiting at a bus stop? Well, as you know, uh, one doesn't uh, wait at bus stops for uh, very long these days. But um, I I I stand and I watch. Uh, I watch buses going in different directions. I watch uh, as my own bus approaches. Sometimes I don't even get on it. I just watch. I watch it stop. I watch it pull away and travel into the distance. I had one question, incidentally. Go on. Well, um, this this is spin spin one one o three eight, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, did you name that after the the one o three eight bus stop <laughs> in, uh, out the Churchtown direction? Uh, well, it's a lovely stop. stop. It's on the fourteen. Stop. Is that what it is? But yeah. you know your stuff, don't you? It's under um to Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> and boys, where is it? Let's let's say yeah. Let's say yeah. Definitely. Network, no, you've given us a laugh on the ads. We love you, and thanks so much for coming to spin one o three eight. Thank yous.